Hello everyone, so today we're going to be doing our BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of January. So if you didn't know, this box is $21 a month and it just comes with a lot of like beauty products inside and yeah, y'all know the drill. I'm just gonna try it on, show y'all all the products and give my thoughts. So if y'all are interested, then just keep on watching. So the theme for this month is Rock 2018. So the first thing I'm gonna start out with is for the brows. So this is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil, and it retails for $24. This alone pays for the whole entire box. Now, I have heard really good things about this brow pencil. I think in the last few days, I've heard like three people say they really love this, so I'm hoping it works out for me. Ugh, let me zoom y'all in. So it just looks like this. One end has a spoolie, and the other is where the product comes out of. Okay, so now I know why everyone loves this. It's really easy to use, really easy to draw on the brows, and there's not much that I have to clean up afterwards. Like, it's just very simple, and my brows actually look really good. So next in the box, we have this eyeshadow palette right here. So this is by Crown Pro, and this is their Glam Metals palette, and it retails for $25. Okay, so this is like a rock-inspired palette. It has a little electric guitar right here, and all the names of the shadows are just really cool. Let me read them to you. Going from left to right, there's Punk, Wild Thing, Black Metal, Rock On, Rebel, Heavy Metal, The Wicked, Glam Rock, and Pop Rock. I think those names suit this palette perfectly. So yeah, let's try this out. So these eyeshadows weren't that really great of quality. I'm very picky about eyeshadows. Um, they just weren't really that pigmented and I mean you can still create a look with it and everything. It's just not the quality that I would want for an eyeshadow personally. But it's just I don't personally like um, palettes like this whenever the shimmery shades seem to be the only ones that work out okay and then the other ones are just kind of like eh. So the next thing we're going to be using is this primer. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer, and this retails for $38. Wow. So at first application, my skin looks glowing. It looks like it's just glowing from within. My skin looks a lot more healthier. So now I'm gonna go put on some foundation and we will come back and we'll see how it looks with this primer. So this is what my foundation looks like over top of the primer. And I do think that it did minimize my pores pretty well, but I do have really bad pores. So they're not like, they're not like completely vanished, but you know, I do notice a difference in them. So I think I really like this primer and I'll continue to use it. Next up is this face palette right here. This is the Pure Bronze and Brighten Cheek Palette and it retails for $34. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I really like the colors of this, they look really pretty. So I'm gonna dip into this one first and bronze up my face.
Um, the highlighter isn't particularly my favorite. It's kind of like chunky when it goes on. Not like glittery chunky, but like chunky flakes, I guess. Um, it just doesn't look smooth on the skin. So I don't really know how I feel about the highlighter. And I feel like it's just kind of like brushing away. It's very like subtle. I don't know, it just looks kind of weird on my skin. So for this palette, the blush would probably be my first pick as my favorite. I just love the color of it, how it applied and everything. The bronzer was okay, I just don't think the color suited me. And the highlighter, it's very subtle and I'm usually okay with a subtle highlight, but it just didn't look nice on the skin. It looks just very like patchy and just kind of like almost like there's little chunks missing from my skin. Not like my skin, but like my makeup, like it looks like, you know, just like patchiness everywhere. So the bronzer and the highlighter kind of look that way to me. Um, but the blush looks beautiful, applied evenly, no patchiness. So I would definitely say the blush is probably the best out of this palette, but I don't really like these other two. All right, so I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So the last and final thing in this box is a lip product. This is by Girlactic and this is their matte lip paint and this retails for $23. This smells really good. This smells just like frosting. Alright you guys, so those were all the products in this month's box. Now for my thoughts on everything, I really enjoyed the brow pencil. I think my brows turned out really good today. It's been a long time since I think they've turned out this good. I also really like this primer. I did notice it luminizing the face and it also did smooth over my pores, which is a really big deal for me. This palette right here wasn't my favorite. I do really like the blush, but the other two weren't really my favorite. They were just really patchy and didn't really look that nice on my skin. Now for the eyeshadow palette, I think it was a really good design, like the creativity behind it, the names of the shadows, the color selection, and the mirror. I just wish the quality of the shadows were a little bit better because they were hard to apply, didn't really blend out that well, and they just looked very messy and they weren't really that vibrant. Now for the lip paint, I think it looks nice on my lips. It's very comfortable, it's already dried down completely, and it doesn't feel like too drying, um, even though it's matte. It's very like smooth and just, I don't know, it feels very comfortable on the lips. I don't really know how this would last throughout the day, but by first application, it looks really nice. Alright, so that is it for today. If y'all enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you want to. I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life, but it'd be cool if you stuck around. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye!